Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back. So happy to see you as always. And let's continue our activities with measuring using the units, meters, and centimeters. And we're going to keep changing numbers. Today, the difference, and this video is going to be super short because you are experts on this. You have gotten 100, all of you, for two days. So you are experts, a pat on your back. Very good. So because you are experts, the video is going to be super short. The only difference today is that we're going to put different lengths in order. Remember, the length is how long or how short something is. Okay? And here we have different lengths. This is one length, other, other. These three, let's put them in order. To put them in order, I'm going to give you a clue. You have to first do this work in your mind, what we have been doing the last two days. To put them in order, there are two ways you can do it. If you can see, the first number is in two parts, meters and centimeters. The second number, meters and centimeters. And the third one is in centimeters only. So there are two ways. You can either change this last number to meters and centimeters. And that way, now you can compare and see which goes first. Or for me, it's easier if I change the ones that are in two parts to just centimeters. So, for example, this is the work that I would do on my mind, what we have been practicing for the last two days. This one, in my head, I will say 409 centimeters. That's what I think in my head. I put it together just in centimeters so I can compare, okay? Remember, every meter is 100 centimeters. So that's why 4 meters is 400 and 9 centimeters, 409. And this one, again, the work I do in my head is put it together and say, I know, sorry, 860. You know, these numbers are too thick. Let me put them thinner. Yes, that's better. 800. 67 centimeters. And this one, I don't change it because it's already in centimeters. So now that all of them are in centimeters, now I can put them in order. But the today the activity I did a drag and drop because before my students used to get confused and then they put this answer. But no, what the number you have to put is this one. But this work, you just do it in your head. You just think of the number in centimeters. So now you can see and compare which is the greatest. Because here it says, start with the greatest, the biggest, the longest. So which is the greatest? Let's see. 409, 867. Oh, I can see. What do you think? Excellent. This is the first one, so I'm going to put it here. Then which goes first? Oh my God, I'm going to leave it there so we don't get confused. Then which goes next? 409. It has to be smaller because it's from big to small. So this is the biggest. Then which is more big? Which is bigger? 409, <coughs> sorry, centimeters or 482? Exactly. This is bigger. So this is the smallest. This goes at the end. Okay. Now, again, this work happens in my head. So this <clears throat> actually doesn't exist. And I already put my first three numbers in order. So in my head, I was thinking 867, 482, 409. Okay. That's what I did. I don't write the numbers. Of course, because it's the first time, yes, you can write the numbers on your whiteboard or somewhere. Let's do the next example. This one, 825 centimeters. Again, this one, I would think 813 and 897. 
okay? If you get confused and you cannot really see the numbers and you forget, then it's okay, write it on the top. This is in centimeters. This would be 813. Remember to put the unit, centimeters. Because you would say what? Centimeters, meters, kilometers, inches. You have to write the unit. And this would be 897 centimeters. Now that all of them are in centimeters, now you can compare them. Begin with the bit, the longest. Which is the longest? Let's see, 825, 813, 897. Here, all of them are 800. So then I just look at the tens and the ones. So 25, 13, 97. I know. Do you know which is the longest? Excellent. This is, should go first. This is the longest. Then what's next? Remember from big to small. So this was the longest. So the next one also has to be a little big. And then the last one, the smallest. So which is bigger? 825, 825, or 830. You are amazing. Very good, my boys. And the last one goes here. Okay? Again, these you can do it in your whiteboard or just brain work. We are finished, and now it's your turn. Try to put these, get your whiteboards, and put these three numbers in order. Again, you can just do it on your brain. Think of all of them in, in centimeters, and then you put them in order. Or just take your little notes like me, write it on the top, and at the end you erase the notes. The number that you have to put is this one. Okay, if you are back, it's because you already did it, and let's see who got it good. So in our heads, we would say this is... 627 centimeters. This is already centimeters, and this would be 293 centimeters. Now that it's all in centimeters, we can do it. Remember, it's the longest, the biggest first, the biggest number. So let's see, 627, 286, 293. So this is the biggest, the longest. Okay, then smaller is this. And the super, super small, the smallest. No, no, no. You see, I thought all of them were, were too two meters, and no, this is the longest because this is six meters. This is 627. Then it's this one now, yes, and then this. And now we can erase our notes. There it is. You see, I noticed and I corrected myself. That's what we all have to do. Always check your answers when you are doing it. And now I corrected it. Let's double check. Six meters, yes, this is two meters and this is two meters. So yeah, this is the longest. Then here it's 293 and 286. So now, yes, it is correct. Yay, you did a great job. So now it's your turn to answer your Google Slides. Here it is, order the lengths, and you have to drag and drop in order don't just drag them down remember they are not in order here you have to do all the brain work that we did right now and put them in order i put this reminder here that you always begin with the longest in this activity longest longest and you have three google slides so pay attention and good luck boys do your best let's see if we can get 100 all the class for three days in a row. If you don't get it, it doesn't matter. But let's see, because you have done it and I am so proud of you. So good luck, boys. See you in the classroom.